Hi guys, welcome to this video about how you can cook hamburgers or beef burgers on the grill um, hamburgers which are frozen so this can be done easily the, you don't have to unfreeze them it happened to me, usually I mean I'm buying usually the ground beef and do my hamburgers on my own and I buy 96% uh, uh, lean beef so not much uh, fat and that's uh, very easy to cook them on the grill because there's not a lot of fat dripping uh, there's no burning there's no yeah that, that, that's super easy so but what uh, you can do is when you don't have time you go let's say to the um, sh supermarket like here we have the Walmart product I'm pretty sure other supermarkets have sim similar things so these are pre-prepared beef burgers uh, you just have to season them a little bit with a little bit of pepper and salt and they can be put on the grill uh, easily so the question is only what kind of heat should you use so i have a similar grill than uh, as here i have the uh, charbroil infrared thing which has these extra uh, like aluminum grates which should produce a lot of infrared heat and yeah i was thinking um something which is frozen i should use low heat so they are fully cooked inside uh, before they turn black outside so i started here i have um yeah i think it starts with high heat then medium and on the right side it's low heat so i had two burners on low heat i let it a little bit heat up for 10 minutes or so and then i put my hamburgers on the grill and what happens i unfortunately i didn't make any pictures but it looked ugly really really ugly so they started to unfreeze and they really caused a mess it was horrible it was horrible it was uh yeah i i, I can't tell you they um, didn't stay in shape and they looked horrible they uh it didn't uh, get like a, a nice black color and they just were soaking up the remainders of from the uh, previous grilling session and oh it was it was really horrible I, I really had to dispose these things so what I did then I decided to make the opposite and I turned two um, two burners on full heat and I waited till it showed 550 degrees Fahrenheit so really really hot and then I put the hamburgers on it and yeah that uh, that was much much better that was almost perfect the only bad thing is for my taste um, yeah still 25% fat is too much for my taste but uh, a lot of people like it so the thing is they uh, lose a lot of size a lot of fat it's dripping into the grill it's causing a mess it starts to produce uh, flares and yeah that's not not nice not good for the grill not good for the meat no nothing so um yeah but actually i mean apart from that everything turned really good so uh, surprisingly even with 550 degrees fahrenheit they didn't turn totally black outside before they uh, were cooking fully through inside so that was really a surprise I didn't expect that and I would definitely recommend doing this you need a lot of heat if you want to throw 
uh, frozen hamburgers directly on the grill which uh, by the way I've learned a lot of restaurants do that this is not just like a lazy housewife thing or something like that no I have learned from professional cooks uh, in the meantime that a lot of restaurants do that they put the frozen hamburgers directly on the grill but you really really need a lot of heat this is what the guys also confirmed otherwise they um, it, it, they turn into a complete mess so yeah um, that's it I mean what what you have to do I mean uh, I had my hamburgers I, I just had uh, three of them and I had it on the left side and I had also the middle uh, burner turned on to produce enough heat I think just with the left burner uh, it wouldn't have been enough heat um, yeah and so if you using like say if you want to make six hamburgers you're using two grilling grates you probably will have to turn on even the third uh, burner so I, this is what I would recommend and if you have a temperature um, like a thermometer which I have on my grill uh, like like this one here we have the, uh, the temperature so I would recommend 550 degrees Fahrenheit it's a good temperature it really worked for me uh, but next time I would look that I find something with a little bit let, uh, less less fat so that's it uh, yeah I hope I was able to help you a little bit with that if you have any questions just write to the comment section below and if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel thanks for watching and see you next time